to the International Online Conference of UNESCO Genus Cluster on Citizenship Education, which is co-hosted by UIL, Larissa, and Yansuko. I'm Yansuko, a team leader of the Department of Lifelong Education of Yansuko. I am a general moderator for this two-day conference. All sessions except cluster planning session will be recorded 
and make available later on the online platform. Uh, let me inform you of the notice on the screen before starting the conference. Microphones of all participants will be muted. Speakers will be unmuted before their presentation. After joining Zoom, please change your name in order of your full name, organization, and city on the screen. If you have any questions for speakers, please post them in Q&A section on Zoom. Moderators will collect them for discussion. If you have any comments to share, please post them in the chat. There will be a 30-minute break between all sessions. Click the language for translation. You may find an Earth-like icon on the menu. Please click it and you can tune in on English, Korean, and Greek channel. Today, we'll start off the opening and presentation from the coordinating city, Larissa and Yansugu, followed by session one and two. Each session will be led individually by separate moderators. Now, Mr. Olga Chirova will moderate the session from now on. Hello to everyone. Good morning. Good morning from Larissa. Uh, we are very happy. Uh, we welcome you to the online conference, uh, Strengthening Citizenship Education at Local Level, which uh, takes part on to, to, to for today and tomorrow. Uh, UNESCO Global Network of Learning Cities clustered on citizenship education with coordinate cities Larissa from Greece where I'm talking to you from, and Yuan Sugu, the Republic of Korea, uh, and supported by the UNESCO Institute for Lifelong Learning. Um, so uh, we hope the conclusion of this today's conference will contribute and will help all the cities and uh, individuals and UNESCO to have more achievement and more challenges and opportunities, opportunities working for the global network of learning cities. So, the first speaker for today and for, for the conference is Mr. Sotiris Bulgaris, Deputy Mayor of Social Policy and Lifelong Learning. So, Mr. Sotiris Bulgaris, uh, I will give you the floor to tell us about uh, the strengthening citizen education at local level for the large city. Mr. Sotiris, the floor is still for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very εκπρόσωποι δήμων, πανεπιστημίων και φορέων, φίλες και φίλοι από τις πόλεις του κόσμου. Καλώς ορίσατε στο συνέδριό μας. Στο συνέδριο που διοργανώνει η πόλη μας η Λάρισα, από κοινού με την πόλη Γεωνσόγου της Νότιας Κορέας και το Ινστιτούτο Διαβίου Μάθησης της UNESCO. Στο Παγκόσμιο Συνέδριο του Μεντιγκίν της Κολομβίας, μας ανατέθηκε η επεξεργασία της θεματικής που αναφέρεται στην ενεργό πολιτιότητα και στην εκπαίδευση. Μετά από περίπου ένα χρόνο, ανταμόνομαι σήμερα, δι διαδικτυακά και όχι διαζώσεις, καθώς η παγκόσμια υγειονομική κρίση που απειλεί την ανθρωπότητα, δημιούργησε νέα δεδομένα. Παρόλε αυτές τις νέες συνθήκες και σε πείσμα τούτων των καιρών, εμείς προβαίνουμε στην υλοποίηση αυτού του συνεδρίου. Σας καλωσορίζω λοιπόν όλους και επιτρέψτε μου να χρησιμοποιήσω τη φράση των αρχαίων ελληνικών που επιλέχθηκε το 1977 από τον Καρλ Έντουαρτ Σέιγκαν, Αμερικανό αστρονόμο και αστροφυσικό, και η οποία ταξιδεύει στο σύμπαν με τους Voyager 1 και 2, απευθύνοντας αυτόν τον χαιρετισμό σε όλο το σύμπαν. Ήρθινες, ποτ έστε χαίρετε. Ειρηνικός προς φίλους, ελληνίσταμεν φίλοι. Στα νεοελληνικά, 
Θα το λέγαμε χαίρετε όποιοι και εμείς ήρθαμε ειρηνικά σαν φίλοι σε φίλους. Ας κηρύξουμε την έναρξη αυτού του συνεδρίου ευελπιστώντας στα καλύτερα δυνατά αποτελέσματα που θα αποτελέσουν οδηγό καλών πρακτικών για όλες τις πόλεις που ανήκουν στο παγκόσμιο δίκτυο των πόλεων που μαθαίνουν. Παρακαλώ και καλό και τον εκπρόσωπο του Δημάρχου της Γεωνσού για μια σύντομη παρέμβαση. Καλή επιτυχία και σας ευχαριστώ okay. πάρα πολύ. Τώρα το κάνω πάρα λίγο. Το κάνω τώρα, το ανοίγω. Οκ, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Sotiris Bulgaris, for your contribution and the opening uh, uh, speech for this conference. Um, so, uh, by the schedule now, the mayor of Yansugu has the floor, but is it okay? Mr. Sotiris Bulgaris invited the, someone, uh, the deputy from the Yansugu. All will have the recorded now by the schedule. We have the recorded message by the mayor of Yansugu, Mr. Naum Seokku. So the recorded video, and later on we have it uh, uh, the mayor uh, live. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. The conference will be held online with the UNESCO Institute for Lifelong Learning and the city of Larissa in Greece, taking into account the health emergencies caused by the COVID-19. Mr. David Atrarena, director of the UNESCO Institute for Lifelong Learning. Mr. Apostolos Kaloyanis, Mayor of Larissa, Greece, Mr. Dimitris Delianis, Chairman of the City Council of Larissa, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for sharing this special experience. I would also like to thank you, all of the member cities of Global Citizenship Education Cluster, for their support and cooperation in promoting this meeting. The world's leading experts who will present their vision for strengthening citizenship education at local level. And the city representatives who will share their experience in citizenship education. Mankind has achieved today's civilization by overcoming numerous crises. Although it is in the corona crisis right now, humanity is a different tomorrow from today, it will make amazing progress again. Crisis in Korea is described as a phenomenon in which risks and opportunities coexist. The English word crisis comes from the Latin word crisis and Greek word kranin, which means a turning point in the patient's recovery and implies a disease on the situation. To sum up, the crisis is not just the worst, but the decisive moment in finding and welcoming new opportunities in the course of dealing with the situation. At this decisive moment, the need for global citizenship has never been higher as a strategy for mankind to share the ecosystem of the earth and achieve sustainable development. Now, we are beginning a new civilization. The corona crisis that we face is changing our daily lives and changing the global economy and international world order. It's time to gather wisdom again 
about where we need to go in the era of the revolution. In addition to lifelong education, online areas such as telecommuting, video conferencing, and non-face to face transaction have been greatly expanded. Although we physically isolated from each other, just as efforts in various fields for hyper-connected based on humanism are increasing. No matter how much we, the world changes, the core humanity as a human being will not change. Global citizenship education is the process of learning how to adapt to changes in the world while maintaining it strong. It would be true citizenship to find a way to ensure that everyone can have core prosperity to recognize social diversity where the value of empathy and sharing and to participate in a sustainable world with critical understanding of the world's phenomena. This conference will be a valuable time to conceive strategies to strengthen citizenship education as a turning point to overcome the challenging time. It will also be a meaningful time to understand how citizenship education is implemented in the communities and share good practices through presentations of eight cities. We look forward to this conference as an opportunity to share the direction of citizenship education and to achieve co-prosperity and inclusion. Thank you. Thank you so much for such encouraging speech of the mayor of Yonsugu, Mr. Nam Seok Ko, um, about crisis and opportunities, about the humanity and to adapt and be strong. We hope we'll fulfill uh, uh, his um, perspectives for this uh, conference. Thank you so much. And now the floor, I give the floor to Mr. Apostolos Kaloyanis, um, the mayor of uh, Larissa, Greece, the city that I'm talking uh, to you from. So, Mr. Kaloyanis, the mayor of city of Larissa, Larissa, one of the, uh, uh, of the network of global cities, uh, global network of learning cities. Uh, we, we invite Mr. Kaloyanis to contribute to the discussion for an, and for an opening welcome. Καλημέρα σας. Καλημέρα σε όλους από την ε, Λάρισα. Ε, σε μια δύσκολη στιγμή για την ανθρωπότητα και για την πόλη μας βεβαίω, η οποία περνάει αυτή την περίοδο ιδιαίτερα προβλήματα με την... A hygienic crisis. Our city uh, could co-host this international conference of UNESCO with the city of Yunsu of the democracy of Korea for its uh, thematic issues that are about education, uh, educational citizenship, and how to create active uh, citizens. It's a time of worry, fear for all the citizens of the world. A very difficult situation in the public uh, health to the economy, to the society. So it's time to uh, talk and see all the issues of solidarity and social cohesion. We have to stand right and talk about the challenges that we have to face now, but also after the crisis for the human rights, for democracy, for all the threats that we face, for the need to support the vulnerable teams and the responsibility of citizens for the role of youth. Of course, all citizens uh, must contribute, and especially the young ones. Today, uh, under these circumstances, 
uh, universal dialogue for the health of citizens of this world, for the poverty and for the fight of inequality and injustice, for the protection of our planet is crucial. So there are a lot of global issues that uh, they're more important than ever. In this two-day conference, we have a lot of good practices from cities uh, that um, uh, participate and uh, they will be presented from all over the world. Uh, we will have uh, lectures from uh, distinguished uh, scientists. We will see a different um, forum uh, for uh, youth and we will hear a lot of citizens that um, they have signed their participation to this conference. I would like to say that, that this is the first time that a Greek city co-hosts uh, a conference of UNESCO, something of course that really honors us and uh, shows that UNESCO has uh, uh, acknowledged our effort of Larissa and the municipality of Larissa for the learning cities. Our contribution to this network of UNESCO as an idea didn't come at random. It's a result of a very strong political will for the implementation of actions based on humanitarian principles of long life learning. As an answer uh, to a financial and social crisis of the last period. As we are the new municipality authorities, we are set as a target the creation of a very strong uh, network of forums and active citizens in all the levels of local community with a target of transformation and uh, the uh, evolution of uh, citizens. I think that uh, everyone can understand that this building of a city that learns is a, is a change of course. It's a very big change. And of course, this isn't easy. In Larissa, we managed a lot. Tens of hundreds of uh, educational programs, uh, uh, festivals, actions, and international conferences, foundation of the University of the Citizens with thousands of participants. There are words. Of course, the problems are not lacking, especially in this period. Um, and we go step by step. And we have a lot of answers that we're trying to have. Of course, we have uh, very reduced sources and doubts uh, are things that uh, we're called to face. But um, the uh, you know internet is a great way so to use it and uh, you know be together so uh, even that way uh, we had the chance to uh, get together and i think the discussion that we will have so that will add to this effort of our cities of our actions and i estimate that under this uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic i think that uh, humanity would uh, embrace each other and we will be able to uh, uh, fight for it and go forward. So I do hope that when crisis is over and uh, all the people uh, that will participate in this international conference will have the opportunity uh, to see each other face to face, to um, see our hospitality that uh, our city offers. So I would like to uh, um, wish all the best to this conference. I would like to thank UNESCO that she trusts us to this effort. And uh, I would like to uh, uh, say that uh, we are here in a continuous uh, procedure in order to transform our uh, city, our community, uh, creating more active citizens. All the best to this conference. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor Clarissa, Mr. Apostolos Kalogiannis. I'm very proud and we are very proud, our mayor, for being a citizen of, uh, the, of Larissa, of the achievements of uh, Larissa in the global 
network of learning cities. Thank you so much for everything. And we promise to, to invite uh, and to have all of them in, uh, in our city for a traditional way of uh, showing uh, our hospitality. Uh, so, uh, now Mr. Sam Khodou, Superintendent Incheon Metropolitan City Office of Education. And we have a recorded message from him and uh, we are ready to hear from Mr. Seon Khudu. Hello, 전 지구적 공동체가 위협받고 있습니다. 이러한 위기의 시대를 넘어 지속 가능하고 협력적인 사회로 나아가기 위해서 그 어느 때보다도 시민 교육의 중요성이 강조되고 있습니다. 이번 국제 컨퍼런스가 클러스터 도시들의 세계 시민 교육 활동 상황을 공유하고 도시 전략을 마련하는 행사로 매우 뜻깊은 자리가 되기를 기원합니다. 이번 행사를 토대로 세계 시민 교육의 국제 협력과 연계의 중요성을 강화하고 세계 시민 교육 클러스터 코디네이터 도시로서 인천 광역시 연수구 및 그리스 라리샤시의 선도적 역할을 기대하며 클러스터 회원 도시 모두의 관심과 지지를 부탁드립니다. 감사합니다. Thank you, uh, Mr. Sengo Hondo, the Superintendent Incheon Metropolitan City Office of Education. And uh, uh, yes, it's true that Larissa from Greece and from the other part side of the world, the, Yangsu, uh, the, the city of Yansugu, and under the umbrella of an international organization, UNESCO, we're here and discuss, and we have the chance to discuss about strengthening citizenship education. We thank you very much. And now it's time for the overview and, pro overview and progress uh, for uh, the citizenship education and the thematic clusters. So um, I now invite Mr. Raul Valdez Cotera, the team leader of UNESCO Institute for Lifelong Learning, um, now that he can elaborate and or continue the discussion. Mr. Raul Valdez Cotera, you have the floor. Good morning. Good morning from Larissa, Mr. Raul Valdez Cotera. Thank you, you very much. Good. Very well. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. And we are um, um, we're very anxious to, to, to hear what we have to say from Geneva. You are talking? Uh, we are based at the Hamburg. UNESCO Institute. Hamburg, Hamburg sorry. Uh, yes. Uh, from Hamburg, and, and uh, I would like uh, to, to give uh, first the floor, if, if this is fine with you, um, um, to, to, to the, the director. He will, he will also talk, David Acharena, but uh, let, me, let me just introduce right now um, my, the topic. So, dear members of the Global Network of Learning Cities, ladies and gentlemen, welcome welcome all of you to this uh, online conference strengthening citizenship education at local level organized by the city of larissa in greece and the city of yonsu in the republic of korea as you can okay. remember uh, yes no 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 you can continue so uh, i yes. have to apologize for not being uh, I uh, present Mr. David Achorena, the director of the um, UNESCO Institute for Life and Learning. Uh, but please, uh, Raul Walter Cortella, thank you for having me. 
No, thank you, thank you. I mean, I, I, we would like just to, to give a general uh, view, uh, but, but I think it will be important to, to, to have this, the, the opening of, uh, of the director of the Institute so he can really put the frame on, on, on the topic that it's quite excited uh, that we heard all, already from the mayors and representatives of the two cities. So I think uh, it would be nice to, to, to start to, to, to do the closing of this uh, um, Welcome to, to, to David Arturena. So I give the floor to him if I'm with you. Of course, uh, Mr. David Arturena, I have to apologize uh, again for, yeah. for that. Uh, but we are uh, live and we are in from different uh, countries. Uh, I apologize and I give the floor to Mr. David Arturena, the director of UNESCO Institute for Lifelong Learning. Um, we're very happy to be with you today. So, uh, the floor is to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Mr. Nam Seok Ko, Mayor of uh, Yonsugu, Mr. Apostolos uh, Kalogianis, Mayor of uh, Larissa, members of the uh, UNESCO Global Network of Learning Cities, members of the Citizenship Education Cluster, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this uh, important event on strengthening citizenship education at local level. I would like to extend special greetings to the cities of Larissa and Yonsugu, the two coordinating cities of the cluster on citizenship education and our hosts to this important conference uh, today. Revitalizing local democracy and making uh, development sustainable requires at local level active citizens who are informed, responsible, creative, and committed to their communities and to the planet. Learning cities have a key role to play to make this happen. When looking at citizenship in terms of sustainable development, caring for others doesn't just mean to those closest to us. It refers to a sense of responsibility to the wider community, including future generations. At present, we are facing a global health crisis that has affected people in countries and cities around the world, exacerbating inequalities and calling for a new sense of solidarity, one in which caring for one another is more relevant than ever. Citizenship education, therefore, plays a crucial role for building inclusive and resilient cities and beyond for the future of humanity. It involves teaching individuals about human rights, justice, democratic values, and sustainability. It promotes respect for local culture and traditions, and also supports indigenous knowledge. Citizenship education is particularly relevant for vulnerable groups, enabling them to know about and exercise their rights. Citizenship education is also key for navigating through a world that is continually changing because of technological innovations, transforming the ways in which communication takes place, expanding the possibilities for knowledge sharing and offering new opportunities for learning. When scientific knowledge and fact-based information are under attack, media literacy is becoming increasingly uh, important. These issues uh, affect people at every age. Citizenship education, therefore, calls for a lifelong perspective, beginning with early childhood and continuing through all levels of education and into adulthood via formal, non-formal, and informal modes. While much focus has been placed on citizenship education in schools and formal education, greater efforts are needed to promote citizenship in a lifelong learning framework, including, in particular, adults. By bringing together 
decision makers, planners and managers from cities and experts from academia to explore current issues and effective strategies related to citizenship education, I'm convinced that this conference will contribute to raise and advance citizenship education in learning cities. During the last years, citizenship education has also become increasingly relevant to the work of the UNESCO Institute for Lifelong Learning, not only with the establishment of the UNESCO GNLC cluster, but also within the framework of its work on adult education. As part of this engagement, UL published recently a report addressing global citizenship education in adult education and learning in cooperation with the Seoul-based UNESCO Asia Pacific Center of Education for International Understanding, APSEU. This report examines the competences needed for adults to act as global citizens, to learn to live together in a cohesive way and to drive the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development forward. It sets out the key competences required by adult educators, making a case for better training in citizenship education. Another key initiative that I would like to mention is the UL's fifth global report on adult learning and education, the so-called GRAIL 5 report, that will be published in 2022. The thematic topic of this uh, report will be precisely citizenship education in the framework of adult learning and education. The report will assess the progress of citizenship and adult learning and education in every region of the world. I'm therefore pleased to see this uh, important topic being increasingly taken up at local level within the UNESCO Global Network of Learning Cities. I again would like to thank the cities of Larissa and Yunsugu for coordinating this important cluster, for bringing people together for this conference and for the global contribution to promoting and strengthening citizenship education at the local level. I wish you all a highly interesting and stimulating exchange during these two days with many learning experiences, and I look forward to the outcomes of this discussion in view of the future directions for the cluster, but also for guiding and supporting the engagement of learning cities in favor of civic engagement, active citizenship, and global citizenship. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. David Achorena, the director of UIL. Uh, thank you, UNESCO, for being so supportive uh, to, uh, to, to our efforts for being for strengthening citizenship education and thank you for mentioning all the reports we will uh, discuss and we will uh, search for, for them and uh, so uh, after that we have the after the opening welcomes uh, we have the thematic clusters uh, the overview overview and programs and so the floor goes to Mr. Raul Valdez Cotera. This is the right time, Mr. Raul Valdez Cotera, the team leader of uh, UNESCO Institute for Lifelong Learning. Uh, can you hear us, Mr. Uh, Valdez Cotera? Yes. I apologize Thank to you, you too for. for Oh, last Thank you very, very much. Thank you. No, as, as you can see, it was very important that to to have a, our director's message to 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 frame the the the, the coming uh, information. I will share together with my colleague uh, Edith. So, uh, as as I was mentioning, uh, welcome all, and and just to remind you that that in October 2019. Um, uh, more than a year ago during the fourth International Conference on Learning Cities, the member cities of the UNESCO GNLC adopted the strategy 2019-2021. Uh, 
the aim uh, uh, of the strategy was to strengthen the network and improve knowledge production and sharing to have mutual communication, policy learning, and capacity development. And as part of the strategy, seven thematic clusters were uh, organized, were established, and these clusters correspond to member cities' greatest areas of interest and are very much related to the implementation of lifelong learning in cities. The, sub the seven clusters that were organized are, number one, education for sustainable development, number two, citizenship education, number three, entrepreneurship, number four, learning for health and well-being, number five, equity and inclusion, number six, education planning, monitoring and evaluation, and the last one, number seven, literacy. Two coordinator cities and technical partners were established for each of the clusters to support the development or further improvement of relevant lifelong learning topics and strategies about, thematic, uh, about the thematic topic. Simultaneously, through the establishment of the uh, Donor Trust Fund, UIL is partner and further supporting cities in their efforts to promote lifelong learning through a pool funding mechanism. A year later, we can see today that activities have been undertaken by all seven clusters. The UNESCO Institute for Lifelong Learning has worked closely with the coordinating cities and technical partners of clusters to determine working areas and procedures. In most of the clusters, webinars on key concepts have been organized and thematic surveys have been also distributed. Tentative plans have been made for cluster meetings in coordinating cities later this year. Each thematic cluster is responsible for producing a progress report of activities to be shared during the fifth International Conference on Learning Cities that will take place in 2021. Let me share briefly some of the uh, cluster progressions. For example, the Education for Sustainable Development cluster is preparing a case study publication on the role of communities in, pro in promoting ESD, Education for Sustainable Development. From November on, a series of capacity workshop on the topic of development action plan for ESD will also be under preparation. For example, the cluster on education planning, monitoring and evaluation held in 2020 introductory webinars on the concept of educational planning, conducted also a survey of 27 cities and organized a full virtual cluster meeting in September with support from the coordinated cities, Goyang in Republic of Korea and Huejotzingo in Mexico. And the technical partner, uh, UNESCO International Institute for Education Planning, IIEP. And the second cluster meeting will take place in 17 November, next week. And an analysis of cities survey responses will be presented a series of webinar workshops on planning at the local level and monitoring learning city. Development have been organized together with UIL and IIP in that will be organized in the beginning of 2021. In the case of the citizenship education cluster that consists of 38 uh, city members, the cluster coordinators are the city of Larissa in Greece, and John Su in the Republic of Korea. And the technical partners are the UNESCO section of citizenship and peace education in Paris and the Asia Pacific Center of Education for International Understanding, APSEU. The cluster on citizenship education has conducted a survey among cluster members to get a better understanding of cities practices an interest in the field of citizenship education that will be presented just after my presentation by my colleague, Edith Hammer. What we're having today is the first cluster online conference organized by the coordinating cities of the cluster, Larissa and Jensu. I'm sure it will be a good basis 
to the other cluster for planning their own conferences. So congratulations for that. As you can see, the members of the Global Network of Learning Cities are working close with each other, strengthening cooperation by showcasing good practices, presenting actions taken, etc. In the last months, we also um, saw the Learning City members working hand in hand to share the solutions, not only providing learning during the pandemic, but also overcoming the crisis itself. More than 25 webinars have been organized with cities together with experts to exchange ideas and contingency plans and measures taken. The webinars regularly attract, attract hundreds of city representatives and other stakeholders. In addition, the webinars and the work of the clusters made visible practical examples of local lifelong learning initiatives in responses to COVID-19 crisis. Ladies and gentlemen, today the GNLC composed of more than 200 cities from 64 countries continues to position itself strongly at the crossroads of all SDGs by promoting policy dialogue and peer learning among member cities, forging links, fostering partnerships, providing capacity development and developing instruments and learning materials. I look forward to the increased cooperation between the learning cities in today's online conference, strengthening citizenship education at local level. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Raul Valdecotera. It was very inspiring and very promising the, the words that you have uh, sharing with us and we're looking forward for all this uh, that uh, you just mentioned.